Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickory Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a brief message from the Word of God. How many times have you heard people trying to predict the end of time? Well, we run across quite a few people that do that. I actually got a track in the mail just recently that uh, was a track about telling us that the signs point to the fact that that time is very near when the Lord will return and when the earth will be destroyed. But yet, is that the truth? Well, the Bible doesn't teach any such thing. A lot of times they will go to Matthew 24 and they'll look at verses 6 and 7 particularly and they'll say, well, this points out that that time is very near, very, very close. It's there that Jesus said and said, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. He said, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes uh, in various places. And they look around and they'll see there, there's a lot of wars that are going on. There are rumors of wars, and there are pestilence, as we can see, and of course, there are famines that are scattered throughout the world, and sometimes there's a lot of earthquakes, and they say, surely the end of time is very near because of these verses. But now drop down with me to verses 34 and notice something else it said in this same text. It's there that Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. In other words, Jesus says this generation, this generation of men and women, will not die, will not pass away till every one of these things that he mentioned previously would happen and take place. What were those things, and what did he have reference to here? Well, the things that he had reference to was the destruction of the city of Jerusalem that would happen and occur in 70 A.D. If you'll notice in verses 36, talking about his second coming, he says, But of that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Only the Father knows that. And there are no signs that will be given. Peter said the Lord will come as a thief in the night when people least expect it. But now what do we need to do? Certainly we need to be prepared for his coming. In Matthew the 25th chapter and, and the first 13 verses, he states to us the parable of the vir virgins, of ten virgins. There were five wise and five foolish. They all made some preparation, but the foolish did not make adequate preparation. And notice what he said in verses 13. He said, Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Watch, be prepared. We don't know when that will be, but what we need to be is prepared when he does come. Thank you for listening.